Hello and welcome in this three-part video series. I'm going to show you how to get started with Next.js 13 Strappy Starter, how to set it up locally on your computer, make sure that everything is running. I'm gonna show you how to use our expert import feature to seed your website with data. In the second video, we're going to take a look how to deploy our Strapi Starter to cloud, and I'll show you how to use our transfer function to seed your local data to your deployed project on Strapi Cloud. And in the third video, we're going to take a look how to deploy our front end to Vercel. So I hope you're excited. So let's jump into it. And here at our repo, you could see our project. We have this amazing readme file that you could follow along to get started, but I'm also going to make this complimentary video to make things a little bit more self-explanatory, just in case some of you love to see things in the video format. So with that being said, let's get started. First thing you want to do is navigate to our GitHub page. I'll make sure to put the link in the description. And I'm pretty excited. We are already up to 366 stars on this project with 90 forks. So to get started, you're going to click this, use this template button, and you're going to create a new repository. Here, I'm going to name mine Strappy Starter Local Setup. I'm going to keep my repo public and click Create Repository. Once you have your repository set up, we're going to click on Code, and I have GitHub CLI installed, and that's what I'm gonna use in this video. I'm going to copy my command, and here in my terminal, I navigate it to the folder where I would like to install the project. I'm going to paste my GitHub command and click Enter. This is gonna go ahead and clone your repository. Once this is done, I'm gonna clear my screen, and looking at our readme file, we're going to follow the steps. Once you clone your repository, the next command you wanna run is called yarn setup. It's gonna go ahead and install all the dependencies for both your front end and back end. So let's do that now. Now, if you do something like this, it's because you forgot to navigate into your root project folder. So let's go ahead and do that. And now let's run our yarn setup command. Once everything is installed, next we have to do is add our environmental variables to our backend, which is our Strapi project. You could find this snippet inside the .env.example file. So let me go ahead and open up my project and VS Code. And here in our backend project, we're going to have this example env file, which you could copy. And we're going to go ahead inside the root of our backend project, create a new file called .env. Once that's created, go ahead and paste your credentials. You may want to go ahead and replace these with your own keys. So these could be any random generated uh, string. So go ahead and do that now. Once you go ahead and modified your env variables, we're going to start the project by running yarn build and yarn develop. Now make sure that you changing directory into our backend folder, which is where our Strapi application lives. We're gonna type yarn build to build our project. And then we're going to run yarn develop to start our project. Once our project starts, you're going to be greeted by this admin page. Go ahead and create your first admin user. Paul Bratz, Paul Bratzlovsky at strappy.io. Make sure you use super secure password. Could be monkey123, whatever you decide. And submit. And here you are. We are now inside our Strappy backend. It is running locally on your computer. But if you take a look at our content manager, we don't have any articles or authors or any of our seed data. So what we want to do, let's go ahead and use our import feature to seed our data into our project. So taking a look at our readme file, scrolling down, we are going to use our import feature from our data export import transfer system to see the data into our project. We're going to run yarn strappy import, use the file flag and the directory where we have our data. I'm going to stop my server, clear my screen. Also, if you want to see all the available commands, you can run yarn strappy help import. And it's gonna go ahead and show you all the different flags available. 
In our case, we're going to use the file flag and pass the directory of our data. Click enter. This is gonna warn you that it's going to import new data, which will replace all your assets in your database with this new data. I'm okay with that, I'm gonna click yes. This is gonna go ahead and run the import. Once it's done, you're going to see all the files that were imported. Restarting your project and navigating back to your admin and refreshing, you should now see all your data that has been successfully imported. This is pretty awesome. This makes it very easy for us to manage our data using our import and export feature. In the first part of this video, we took a look how to set up our Strapi backend. In the second part of this video, we're going to set up our Next.js project and see how they both work together. I'm excited to see you in the next video. See you soon.